Hello everyone, it's Homestar92, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. In the last part, we went and got Mr. Blue Chicken Man. And in this part, I think it is time that we head up to... Um, not that region. But instead, this region. So we will be going to the Tal Tal Heights area in this part. Um, so what is there to talk about? Well, it's been a long time since I recorded. It hasn't been a horribly long time since I uploaded, just because I like to keep a few extra episodes around, just in case it gets to the point of, you know, where I haven't uploaded in, like, weeks, like what happened over Christmas break. But, you know what? When I was on my Christmas break at school, Let's Playing was not a priority. So, I mean, I understand you like my videos and whatnot, but... You know, when I'm home from school... I don't really think about Let's Playing, and to be honest, I don't think the good fans out there will blame me for that. Some of my fans just expect me to pump out video after video just for them because they're so special, and if you are one of those people, take this as a message that that's not what I'm here for. I do this for my own enjoyment, and if some other people get to enjoy it as a side effect, well, that's pretty cool. Oh, hey Mr. Owl. Your path is not easy, but you are almost there. Go east. The windfish is getting restless. Go east, young lad. First, I'm curious. Anything in here worth noting? Somehow I have a feeling that there probably is something. Hmm. Hooray! The question is, does this lead anywhere useful? Well, it leads to this. Darn it, it does not. It leads somewhere useless. Oh well. Can't say I didn't try. I'm sure I've been here before, probably multiple times over the course of this Let's Play, actually. If you want the sad, sorry truth. You know what, there's an easier way to go about this. Instead of borrowing the money, why don't we just borrow the balloon? Anyway, that's a reference that a lot of you will probably get, but if not... Oh well. Um, so... I happen to have a small idea as to where I'm going. Not, you know, incredibly. But... Actually, dang it. I just have a hunch that... I was actually supposed to continue going the way I had been. And if that's the case, well, wouldn't that just be the exact opposite of the bee's knees? That would just be David Lee Roth's elbow, which has Elvis on it, apparently. Really obscure reference. People like me will get it, though, I'm sure. Anyway, sorry. Enough with the incredibly obscure references. Let's do something a bit more productive. Like break through this barrier. We're gonna break through that fleet! Nothing we can do up there. At least not yet. Alright, so heading east. Head east, that's also a band. Man, I am on a roll with the obscure references to things. And I like how there's one random square on the map that I haven't been to. That's pretty cool. And I hate walking past waterfalls, because they ruin this amazing music. I mean, Tal Tal Heights is, in most people's opinion, the best song in the game, and... I can say I have to agree. It's... a nice... spin on the traditional Zelda theme. And I like that. So... I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Huzzah! I have solved the evil puzzle of defeat and despair. And this is what we needed Mr. Chicken Man for. With the help of our chicken friend, we are going to 
not be crossing any gaps if we try to do it that way. Sorry, I actually was playing Oracle of Ages a while ago, and I had been controlling Moosh, which... If you've played that game, or watched my Let's Play of it, wink wink, nudge nudge, you will know that Moosh is controlled. Moosh's flight is controlled by repeatedly pressing the A button, so my first initial thought process was fall in a hole so that I can, you know, have to do this all over again. No, but my first initial thoughts were, oh, I've got to press A because, well, it's a logical assumption when you have no idea what to do and a previous Zelda game made you do that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Case in point, actually complete random moment, um, I had an idea for another Let's Play I want to do. Um, it would probably only be two or three parts if I did it, so definitely wouldn't interfere with any of my other projects, but, um, and I need to find a cartridge, though. It's a black and white Game Boy game, and I recently got a Super Game Boy, so of course, in case you're wondering, that is, if I have a black and white Game Boy game in the future, that is how I will be recording it. I can't use the Game Boy player, not because I can't use it, but because it, I can't consistently use it, and I don't want to tie myself up into something that I can't finish. So here is the bird's key. And now I'm just going to jump down the hole. Because our services are no longer required there. Now let's go back up here. And this time continue to the right as opposed to entering that cave. Because my goal at the moment is to see what's in here. Wow, amazing! That rooster is actually flying. It's just like I said. Have you tried to hold him over your head? Cluck, cluck. Yes, I have, Mr. Seedman. And I don't need the bird. I can fly all by myself. You could have used the bird for that. Now you... No, you still... I don't think you need the bird. Nope. What are you? You're a stairwell. I don't know where you go. Probably somewhere awesome. One thing you lead to is a piece of power, that's for sure. Anyway, why do I talk about the things I talk about? They're all so random. Yippee. Go across the gaps like a boss. And this is a new section of the map, so I have a feeling that we're on the right track here. Mini Moldorms. I also bought a cartridge of Link to the Past, um, in case you didn't watch my video, I did crack down and buy a Super Nintendo when I found Earthbound, cartridge, manual, and box, nearly mint condition for 80 bucks. Thanks whoever owned that previously, you had no idea what you could have made for that. But regardless of my lucky finds, um, I bought a Super Nintendo for just for that game, but my thoughts were... There's plenty of good games on the Super Nintendo, so that opens up another system for me to potentially do Let's Plays. Um, I don't have many games, but I have most of the good ones. I'll be coming back here later when I have a certain item that I don't have yet. There is an item that will aid me in getting through that room. We'll get that probably a couple parts down the road. Oh, I didn't. I just lost all that momentum, didn't I? A uh, yup. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Thank you for that remarkably vague thing, Mr. Statue. Well, crap. Guess we're climbing back up again. Yippee! I don't know my way around this game at all, hardly. Do I still have a shield? I do still have a shield, remarkably enough. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so at times like this... I... 
go crazy. Oh, well, as long as we're getting sidetracked, I might as well pick up some goodies, right? I got 20 rupees. Joy! And that's it for the goodies. I don't know why I never got that. Did I seriously not have the rock's feather? Oh well, it's not important. The important thing is, I'm completely lost. So this is the part where, since I don't really know how to get to Tal Tal Heights, this is the part where I go all the way back to town, go to the warp portal nearby, and go back to Tal Tal Heights that way. Sounds like fun. Anyway, I'm going to stop the recording, and I will meet you back at Tal Tal Heights with a sense of direction that I didn't have previously. Alright, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Hello everyone, it's Homestar92 again. Sorry about that break. Anyway, I just wanted to pick back up a little bit earlier than I was initially going to, just to show you that there is a very easy way to get this chest. Um, what you have to do is you take your hookshot, and you just do that. And in the chest you find nothing incredibly useful, but still neat, and of course those blocks can't be pushed because, well, that would just be too darned convenient, wouldn't it? But fortunately there's a solution to this, as with many of life's big mysteries. If you're not stupid like me and destroy that thing, you can just hook shot back to it, or you can screen out and screen back in, and, you know, either way works. Anyway, we're back on Tal Tal Heights, I know where I'm going now, and just for my own sanity, I currently have Firefox open behind my Game Boy emulator with a complete map of the game. Some may say that this is cheap. Hey, you know what? I don't know my way around this game too well. It's for my sanity and yours. So, now we are going the correct direction, you see. And this can only result in good things. And yeah, I, I do just take hits just for the sake of avoiding confrontation. I am near the Eagle's Tower. Beware of the bird. I've never heard of the bird, but then again, everybody's heard about the bird. Sorry. I'll stop, I promise. All I know is, when I'm done recording this, there is a delicious Subway sandwich calling my name. This episode brought to you by Subway. Eat fresh. Sorry. I won't do that either. Now we have a down staircase, and we equip this bad boy to get going this way, which effectively allows us to cross, and there's a reason I'm just taking hits like no other. It has nothing to do with the fact that I don't want to fight. Well, it does, but you'll see. I'm not really losing out on anything by not fighting, because as you can see, there's an enemy here, and I will kill this one, and there's a bomb of a wall. Now, what do these usually cover in this game? Well, if we go inside, we find a fairy fountain. Huzzah! And if we go up through this cave, we just have one more little set of cavey puzzle things to get through, and then the path forward will be illuminated for us. Now, all we have to do is notice this remarkably conspicuous keyhole that looks like a sprite because it's differently colored. That's always the fun thing about playing black and white games on the Game Boy Color. I mean, I know this is technically a color game, but that happened on that, that way too, and in that one maze with the Armos Knights, it really just kind of ruins it, because the ones that are fake show up green. Anyway, we're here in level 7, which is the Eagle's Tower, so having made it this far in about 15 minutes, which is about where I like to go, I think in the next part we will actually get down to the meat and potatoes of the dungeon, take out a few mini-bosses maybe, and it's just going to be a good time for everyone, alright? So I'm Homestar92, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Later.